Yeah. Yo, you already know what I'm going. More violence, more violence, you already know. We got Big Sauce here. Yes, yeah, sir. What's going on with y'all, man? Hey, if y'all don't know about Big Sauce here, man, I don't know what to tell y'all, but he got some on the way. I'm gonna let you know that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Got the shit on the way. Bullshit. Come on with the bullshit. Got the shit on the way now. Come on with the bullshit. Now, I told myself when I came, I was gonna be real home. But I said, only, I gotta talk my shit, man. Nah, nah, I feel you. Not only is bro a YouTuber, but he also takes music very, very, very serious. For sure. And, and content creating in general. Mm -hmm. It's his thing, you know what I'm saying? So, we got three tracks we about to run through right now. So, what's the first one you want to get into, bro? And why is it the first one you want to get into? Um, I would say let's go ahead and get into airplane mode. When I made this song, I was just kind of like going through something in life as to what like, I was really on some love shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? I just went to the studio. I hit my hit my um engineer up. This one of my homies. I hit him up and I was like, bro, I got to come to the studio. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell I'm finna make, but I was like, I got to come to the studio. So, mm -hmm. I made this shit, So, I hope y'all enjoy this shit. Just like one of those days you're in the mood, you just yeah. sit there and then whatever. You yeah. In the but it happened to be like a song that I know it's going to do its motherfucking thing okay. too. Okay. So he was like on some like love shit. It was just like your energy was just off. And you was just, My energy was off. You just wanted to be like in your own space kind of thing. And it's just like, you know, normally when a nigga energy y'all, you know, I try to talk to other people about it. But I was like, I'm going to speak how I feel on the track. Okay. I ain't going to try to talk to nobody else. I'm just going to go and get it out on the track. All you're going to hear when you talk to other people is just their perception. So yeah. Well, everything go is going to be all right. That's so a fact. Man, That's a fact. But they don't really know because they not feeling how you feel. Exactly. Hell no. Nah. Exactly. Oh, shit. I said, fuck love. Nah, let's jump into this shit. Hop in that. First of all, you ain't have to come in like that. Let me back it up real quick. Oh, yeah, wow. you heard it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me come. Yeah. 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 To the sky, nigga. Bro. To the sky, <laughs> nigga. I took that third yell to the moon. Oh man. I'm in a vibe, so when I get on the plane, you know I'm playing this bitch right now. That's fine. Right, do what so you gotta do. I I'm just letting you play that bitch. Bro, I'm just letting you know. Bro. I'm gonna the fuck off this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Slut, what's up? <laughs> what you got to say, fellas? That was my old life, man. I know what y'all finna say. Go ahead. Nah, I'm not even going. You know what I'm about to nah, say. Too. I'm go not even going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. <sighs> Nigga, this, this shit sound like slime season Nigga, three. First of all, bro, Pittman, the bitch, and stay focused on the goal, so you're not even letting that shit sidetrack you at all, nigga. It's, you're not. You no, know what I'm saying? No. I picked on it too, but I let it ride. I let the beat. Nigga, just... this nigga is yelling at niggas melodically. <laughs> melodically, I'm like, oh, I'm yelling at the nigga melodically. You feel me? Nah, this is home, oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. I, I, I say that 
say that because of this. How many, look, regardless of what R. Kelly did in his lifetime, how many people still going to bump R. Hey, Kelly? Bro, I ain't going to lie. Let me throw a scenario at you, bro. Man, ain't piss on nobody. Do you still say, I believe I can fly? If I was young, I would. I used to think that I... People still sing it in church. What's up? What the fuck you saying that about hey, me? Right. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. I'm throwing a scenario at you, son, because people always like... They trying to bash R. Kelly, but they still sing his songs. Yeah, bro. You can't, truth. you can't bash. Look, I don't give a fuck what R. Kelly did in his personal life. His nigga music fine. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. That's, the the that, artistry that's, is fine. That, that's undeniable, but now I'm looking at the artistry a little different. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, nah, yeah, brother. Nah, 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 you good, though. <laughs> you good, though. That was on the track. You good, though. You good, though. Like R. Kelly. R. Kelly had a lot of holes. You good, though. You good, still got holes. You good, though. Because you know it. when you find, you know got it, bro. Beats got the pocket, right? Oh, I'm hitting this shit. I hit the, the fucking shit out. That's what I'm trying to show you, bro. your personality yeah well the yeah, engine the producer who sent me these type of beats um i specifically asked him to send me these beats because they're they brighten me up okay. and i had a producer sending me beats turned all the way the fuck up and it was dark beats and i was like bro the only type of energy i'm gonna bring to my life with these beats is negative Fact. so okay. i said i don't even want these beats bro like if, if they're really good beats but mm -hmm. i'm not you can send them to like the other artists like i like don't want that type shit. of corner yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, i don't yeah. want that i just want to Get on that bitch and harmonize. Very good energy. Where did you get the inspiration to make this type of song? Um, I don't find inspiration mm -hmm. when I'm making my music. I just go to the studio and whatever I feel, it just come out. I don't even try. That nigga just wake up and just like I don't. Just, I, none of this shit. No, no song that y'all hear from me is wrote or nothing. I don't. I haven't wrote like just punch in. Yeah, but I just feel. Sometimes I'll tell my engineer mm -hmm. like just let me go. Mm -hmm. And when he when. He'll let the beat play, mm -hmm. and then I'll go in and I'll just start freestyling uh, mm -hmm. right off the top. And I'll be like, okay, that's the hook, add it to the front. I'll be mm -hmm. like, that's hard, add that to the front. I want that to be the hook. And then we just keep going. Like, bro, I made this song within like maybe an hour and a half. You know what's crazy though? I heard before that like songs always come out better when you just punch it in and out instead of you sitting there and then just reading off a phone because reading like off a phone and then. Just the whole writing process of it all is just like it's boring. It's not yeah. fun. It's boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah like I feel like the art of this shit is getting in there with with no idea and feeling the beat. Not fact. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like no idea because I can take lyrics from any song mm -hmm. and go over there and try to make them fit on this track. Y'all mm -hmm. don't see people do the remixes and shit in the club. They yeah. just fit these lyrics on another. Like I don't want to do that. I want to go and whatever beat we pull up, we finna. That's a fact. Figure it out. That's a fact. You know? That's I like to figure it because I like I think it pushes my creative mm -hmm. pushes me creatively because if I'm reading off a of paper and um I've read some songs off of some like in the studio and yeah. them shit sound like I was like you was I'm a, a rich robot. nigga yes yeah, I yeah. am yes like, I am fucking robot. Like, yep. <laughs> and then when you fuck up you feel like you're forced you're trying to, to be too it. perfect yeah bro mm -hmm. you know I think paper make a nigga try to be perfect so That's you see a lot of these artists that don't like the niggas who go to the studio and they just can freestyle mm -hmm. and make a make a hit. And these niggas who writing all day, 
And then they mad that the niggas who just going to the studio doing their thing and blowing up, they like, oh, y'all don't understand it. They yeah. don't understand it. But it's really all about the energy of the track. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. People could tell. I'm telling you right now, they could tell, especially like the sound waves of the song, they could tell. Like, the oh, energy my energy was hot, bro. Right. I was super Turn excited to make that said the song up. has very high yeah. energy, bro. Like, anybody would like this track. I ain't gonna love it. Appreciate right. that. Hey, man, make sure y'all comment down below, too. Yes, yeah, sir. How y'all feel? What you usually tell your, what you usually tell your friends to comment? Uh, so yeah, comment down below. Let my partners know, man, how y'all like this song. I'm gonna come check it out, too. So, y'all hate. Hey, man. Fuck, <laughs> the song's still good. <laughs> I like it. My right. partner's like it. That shit. That's all that matters. Right, what's the next one we about to get into? Bro? Uh, let's go ahead and throw on this Mark Cuban. See, honestly, I don't even Mark uh, Cuban. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say nothing. All right. Mark Cuban. I knew it was yeah. gonna be some SR. I like to call shit like this SRT, Scat Pack music. Oh yeah, oh, slide. Nice. This some slide music. You finna hit the well, highway. I like to call this shit. I didn't know y'all rode in Scat Pack so then we, we don't. We really don't. Oh, so this some slide. We don't. Shit. But them yeah. shits is up there. <laughs> so some of my boys went up there. Yeah, <laughs> definitely did, nigga. <laughs> I've never seen Mark Cuban. In Mark my, Cuban on nah, the match. Yeah, bro. I've never seen him really floss nothing but uh, his accomplishments with. With. with exactly. You see, bro. You see what I'm saying? He like, only talk about the shit that he owned and how you can get it. How you can get you it. Know? Not like how much money I got and let me flex on you, a jury. I'm going to go ahead and start this from the top. Mark Cuban, nigga. Yeah. Trying to be a boss. And this should go with the conversation we had the other week. For sure. I was really about to say that. Come to the conversation we just had. Yeah. Right. I just wanna play games like EA Always got the ball in my court Rockin' Gucci gym shorts yeah. I'm a fire now, nigga, on my human torch Run up, get it short, I'm back to the quick way to get exposed Time with an escort when I'm in the Ventador yeah. I've been cooking up lately, I feel like Scott Storch yeah. I've been jumped off the porch, of course yeah. You ain't no real nigga, I can hear it in your voice but I ain't stepping in no looming. You ain't gonna see me walking around with no cuban. I'm trying to own a whole team like Mark Cuban. Can't go with no basic bitch. I only want entrepreneurs. I got a bad white bitch. Bro, we literally just talked about Yo, we, what's going on today? Bro, like, for the past three days, we've been talking about like elevating this shit. And every time we have this conversation, bro, we're listening to something music, else. bro. Yeah. New music. That's what people are talking about. In yeah, for sure. Be hearing. <laughs> so I'm so. thinking like the universe. But y'all already don't really talk to me. Talk like we had a conversation the other day in the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So y'all, the shit that I'm talking to y'all about, this shit come out in my music too. It just happens to come out in my music because I'm really, like I told y'all, manifesting like being yourself. Yeah, I'm manifesting where I want to go. So um, a it's a lot of things I can rap about, but I mm -hmm. really want to rap about like what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to. Shit. Realistic shit. <laughs> trying to flip. Trying to make sure my son. I'm trying to build generational wealth, bro. Like. When my son my age, I don't want him to be thinking where his next dollar coming from. That's a I want that nigga to be like, shit, my kid's gonna be good. I already, good. Got, it. I already got it, bro. Mark Cuban. Facts. Fucking around with no Cuban. I'm trying to own a whole team. Like Mark Cuban. Can't go with no basic bitch. I only want entrepreneurs. I got a bad white bitch and she had computer. Got a bitch. Go I need a ride. She threw the Uber. Got a freaky bitch who down to make a movie. Make a movie. I was really. I got all the lights on me when I walk through. Came up from the bottom, nigga. Fuck what you been through. I always drink a box, selling out these venues. It's all the other talkers when you get here. All these hoes on the shoes. Always got the ball in my court. Rockin' Gucci gym shorts. I'm on fire now, nigga. I'm a human torch. 
Run up, get extorted. That's a quick way to get exposed. Yeah. Why I'm gonna get when I'm in the winter door. Yeah. I've been cooking up, lady. I feel like Scott Storch. I've been jumped off the porch. Of course, yeah. you ain't no real nigga. I can hear it in your voice. Mark Cuban. Nah, this whole slot. Yeah, sir. This bitch slot. What you would give the first well, first song? You don't you they gotta read that one. You oh, don't, don't rate that don't one. Rate that. Don't no, rate the first one. You already know. You gotta rate the first one. I already know you're gonna say 10, so you don't gotta rate that one. <laughs> nigga, it's 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 yeah, it him sucks. being himself, it's, nigga. It sucks. That's why I'm giving it a 10. Because there's no flaw. It's not, yeah. it's not you know, cap I was really just saying that to you earlier, bro. I don't hear no errors. There's no in cap, rap, bro. There's no cap, bro. I appreciate it. Bro, that. he hits every pocket. That's what I literally just told him that like two hours. Which well, is I think, well, well, and I didn't even know that you, you see, that's how I know you study the art. Well, I love music, bro. And, and not only that, but I love, I create videos before I started doing music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I'm looking at my timeline when I'm editing, I get into editing. When I'm looking at my timeline, I'm like, damn, something missing. So when I'm in the studio and I'm looking at the timeline as I'm tracking, something missing. I gotta mm -hmm. put something in right there. It could be an ad, a little, yeah. That's a fact. But just like to fill up that space. I'm trying to hit every it's pocket. I'm small not trying to, shit like that, man. I'm not trying to give niggas too much room to breathe, but mm -hmm. you gotta also know when to let a song breathe too. I feel so, you. I feel you. Man, that is a fact. The that timeline gotta look right now when we go to bounce this shit out. That is a fact. What's the next joint that we about to jump man, into? Man, next song called Wrist Green. Um, I don't know what made me make this song. I just feel like I was around, like, you know, I see what's going on in the culture, wrist. society. Nigga wrist, like, <laughs> nigga fake ass wrist. They, like, nigga fake ass watch and shit like that. So, that bitch turned oh, green. Nigga <laughs> fake, you know, all that cap shit in your Oh, mouth. shit. Oh. And nigga, but it's like, for me, this song is just like, I just made it because it's like, niggas do anything to try to impress with these, like, niggas. Are, yeah, like, another. Okay. Another man. You feel me? So it's like, man, uh, honestly, Fuck it, your wrist green and your watch fake anyways, but you're doing this for the validation of Hey, your listen, group. let me tell you something. That's that Everybody bullshit. that's behind the camera. Everything that you see on social media is not real. That's it's that not bullshit. real at all. That's that bullshit. So, wrist green, you better tap it with wrist green, because I'm telling you right now, all y'all following all these models and rappers, it's, it's false, man. <laughs> it is false as hell. Tell you. It's false as hell. And we done been around the goofy shit. <laughs> goofy shit, bro. Goofy shit. And niggas being killed for a watch that cost $40 in the mall. Or a hundred dollar watch. Just because they think of the perception of it, that's why, bro. Oh, it's crazy, bro. I'm tired of this shit because we literally just spoke about this shit. <laughs> that nigga's a fuck It's most it. definitely a different vibe than what we just listened to. Okay. The first two songs. This is a real SRT shit. I can hear it. No, that, no I should've cut a little bit. So I heard something like this. Tricks the mind, bro. Mm -hmm. Like just tones in general in music can make you want to listen to this shit. Hell yeah, the frequency of that shit, bro. I'm Nigga, be hit shit. The lyrics. I be Nigga. breaking the work. Shining like a chandelier. I'm lit up. Woo! Undeniable, bro. Yeah. Do you hear the transition in the beginning where it go from low to high? That's why I said his frequency just keep going up and down. Nigga.
YSL music. Yeah, for sure. Nigga. For he sure. Said this is that real scat. Yes, that real scat, 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 real scat, yes, that that real scat peasy music. Nigga, for sure. This is real Holy incredible. Holy shit. This shit is bad. I gotta, I gotta go back bro. again, bro. I can't. <laughs> this is hard, bro. Who produced this one? Uh, my, my engineer pulled it up. He just said, rap on it, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Sound, bro. It shows your character, bro. Like, it shows that you really give a shit about what you put out. I do, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I do. Sometimes it's catchy, much. and it's catchy, and you have a story behind it. Yeah. So, it's like those undeniable. two things is already undeniable, bro. That shit is crazy. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a visual person, so like when I listen to songs that I can see like visually, bro, like. That's the type of song. Trust me, when I'm listening to my music while I'm in the studio, I'll be I'll be in a concert because like as I'm saying my lyrics, I'm visualizing. You performing it. Yeah, okay. like manifestation. So what you got next? Like a project? What, what, what's it, what's in this? What's Man, honestly, I'm just trying to get my music catalog in order to see mm -hmm. what I want to drop, because I don't wanna drop the wrong thing at the right time. Fuck up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Drop drop the wrong thing at the right time. And then that be the lane that niggas throw me in. Mm -hmm. And then if I start dropping again, they, oh, this ain't you. So yeah. I'm really trying to figure out the blueprint on how I want to do this shit. Because, you know, as like y'all know, this is trying to become an artist, man. We got to have a blueprint or this shit going to fail. Facts. So it's like I'm really trying to map out. Yeah, you need to have a blueprint or they're going to try to control you. They're going to try to control me. But, you know, like, like y'all know just as well as I do, I'm trying to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm making this type of music. And I'm trying all type of shit out. Yeah. Because... I don't want to go and be controlled by nobody else because if I make, say if they call a song that was me just in the studio mm -hmm. and I didn't really have no direction, they're like, this is the one. Mm -hmm. And then they that shit go crazy. Can, but for them to do that, you have to be in that lane forever. And that's why I'm be, saying no. Not stuck I'm saying block. before you even get to them. So stuck in the you box. being a person that's already versatile, they can never put that's you what I'm in saying. one pocket. Mm -hmm. That's why I know. Not stuck by I'm saying block. before you even get to them. So stuck in the you box. being a person that's already versatile, they can never put that's you what I'm in saying. one pocket. Mm -hmm. That's why so, I told, I'll be like, I never want a son to do it. I tell myself I want to go independent. Nigga, if I got to go and, you know, do 
This I gotta get other jobs, nigga, to find my independency of my career with my music because I honest, like I really truly believe that my my music gonna be the shit that like help me to financial freedom. That's a fact. So Instead of you running to them, they gonna be running. To they gonna be coming to me because I already got the money to fund my own career. So they gonna be like, shit. Well, you already hustling. That's a you fact. already get to the money. So shit. Well, we can probably offer you exposure, but then it's gonna be to the point where you don't really I don't need your need exposure. Yeah. I built the platform from YouTube. The only from, thing that. Like I would say, like, if you ever listen to Nipsey Hussle, he did the same thing. Yeah. You feel me? So, and then the only thing he really needed the, um, the labels for was distribution. Yep. Which right. was only a small percentage of distribution. Which they really needed him more than he needed them. 100%. And, it's, exactly. you know, it's all about surrounding yourself with the people who not going to... Uh, I, I like to be surrounded by people who going to... I mean, if they if they like a song, then that's cool. But I like people to call me out on my shit, cr help critique my shit, too. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. like, I don't want to walk around like I'm the best thing on earth, mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? But some niggas, they got people around them mm -hmm. and they won't even just tell yes, them. Man. Yes, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I like to have, they like- just waiting to, They just waiting for him to get the money so they can feel like So they, Yeah, you feel like, nah, bro, if you around me, tell me like, no, yeah. oh, I didn't like this. Yeah, what, that you, one what you didn't like about it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well- I ain't gonna lie, that's us. We really some people, <laughs> but, but some people don't know how to do that because we in a we in a time frame of life where everything is emotional as fuck. Oh, so, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas to take it the wrong way and and perceive it as hating. Yeah, like you, hate you just it, being honest. Like I don't want, if you my dog mm -hmm. and I tell you I don't like this song, you know you shouldn't think that it's hating. Yeah. I'm probably just the person in your ear who's trying to look out for yeah. the best. I don't want you putting out bullshit. Yeah, and right. you say you tell me like if somebody tell me oh I'm serious with my music, I'm serious with this, yeah. and then you let me listen to it, I'm like, well I don't think you was too serious on this track. Mm -hmm. What you didn't like about it? You was all over the place. See, a smart, a smart person will understand that. Yeah. But you know, some people, just like you said the other day, the attention span, the attention span is so short that, like, they not gonna want to listen to it. No, 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 hell no. Like, even if it's one of my songs, if I cut it on, and my head not nine, I don't give a fuck if it's my song. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna listen to this shit. I gotta go back to the drawing board. That's nobody wanna listen. Yeah. If I don't want, if I don't like my own song, who the fuck then else? That's a problem. It's a problem. Right. Like, no. That's a fact. Nah, respectfully though, I definitely understand what you're saying. Dude. For sure, for sure. We the same way. If we fucking up, we good. We can tell each other like, nah, nah yeah, ain't no move. And the thing they is, it's like <laughs> you gotta, have, you gotta. Have, it's cool to have some people that you can say, oh, damn, you fucking up. Like telling your partner you fucking up, that's love. Facts. You know Instead what I'm saying? Instead of me just saying, nah, 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 bro, that shit lit, and then I go back and be like, telling yeah, somebody shit, on the phone, like, like that shit. That shit. <laughs> uh, if, if that's if you, if you some real love is telling nigga. Man, that shit ass, you not going hard enough. Got real love is calling somebody out on some shit. They don't give a fuck how they feelings take it. Yep. You can have another motherfucker lying to you because they wanna because they scare Some you. Some people are so used to that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't I've been that. around people like that, bro. Because they scared, so bro. To, like they, they sugarcoat everything that they hear or say to somebody. So like when somebody comes to them and say something real, I don't know how they don't know how to take it. I don't know how to just sit there and just be like. It's the nah, thing. Nah, nah, it's the nah, thing nah, about nah, this. Shit ass, <laughs> it's the thing that if, when when if, when somebody not telling somebody the real shit, it's either because they don't they they fear that nigga mm -hmm. or they respect that nigga too much. I just don't give a fuck. It's ass. <laughs> Straight dude. If you, you bro, know, if you respect him too much, then you should feel comfortable enough to then tell him, yo, bro. Nah, yeah, that ain't it. For sure. Yo, man, let us know what y'all think in the comment section down below about my nigga Big Souls. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know when the game posts another banger. Make sure you follow everybody on the socials. Big Souls shit gonna be right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hit the links in the description down below. And until next time, man, you already know what the fuck going on. Hey, see you in the next one.